opening opening stuff yeah it's just like well this is just the sticker cute right yeah they are I, cool. where's the one i like the, i like this one the best so far that's a good one <laughs> i got them too what's up dude you've been chewing a bone for the last three hours ignoring me all right here's I will, I love you. I'm being I will. Every step of the way. Oh, we're wearing matching sweatshirts. Nice. Did the mushrooms kick in yet? Not yet. Actually, after your live stream, I put some in my bag. <laughs> I like, was like, Alex, should I take, should I take mushrooms? And she goes, you're out of your fucking mind. Nah, nah. <laughs> and then I went and put a bunch in a baggie. And yeah. I put them in my bag. And immediately, I got the anxiety like I was smuggling weed. So I was like, this isn't worth it. Yeah, you I was just like, stopped smoking yeah, weed. Yeah, yeah. To... If I'm going to do all this, I should have just went and got 25 cartridges. So I might as well just not take this shit. So I haven't even updated. Delayed flight. I was supposed to already be fucking gone. What happened? There was a tiny bit of snow last night. No, the plane was fucked up. It was coming from London. And it's, at first, alert said there was a mechanical issue. Yeah. You went and saw Creed last night. I saw, it's called Alter Bridge. It's yeah, a, it's, it's all the members of Creed except for the lead singer, I'll bet. Or, I would I, be a silhouette too if the universe gave you a favor, you know? <laughs> Silhouetting you because you're an I honest don't Creed fan. I know Creed. With gonna... arms wide open, under the sunlight, throat singing, you know? Like, I don't like that kind of stuff. Though, I'm gonna turn the camera off for your own safety. <laughs> That's it, you're off to Japan. Yep, enjoy Creed. Listen. Oh, I'm gone. I said, no, I said I got you. All right. The mail's going out today. Why are you yelling? It's closed yesterday. All right, I'll see you later. All right, peace. peace. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it to Narita. We are here, we are back. So when you fly to Tokyo, you could pick one of two air. Anita, which is way closer to Tokyo, or Narita. Or every time I just come to Narita, take the express train. So now I go through here, go through customs, and then get on the express train. And then we'll be in Ibisu, ready to eat. fastest I've ever like we've been here for maybe 10 minutes they definitely just tore up my entire bag though they went through everything that I have this time so good thing I didn't go with my original plan but we're good we got our Narita Express ticket there's a, as soon as you come out of customs there's a Narita Express ticket office as soon as you come downstairs towards the train there's another one and then there's machines as well We have made it to the room. The room is pretty sweet. It's pretty small. I mean, a bed, a table, this ladder that goes nowhere, a closet, a phone, a microwave, a fridge, a stove, oven, stove, a washer, a Japanese shower, Japanese toilet, shoes, slippers. Oh, nice. I got a little uh, look, a little look joint. Nice. Bring in the look. We're here. We're in a bisu. We're good. I've been up for like 24 fucking hours. I think it's gonna help me find. Look at this uh, balcony I got too, dog. Nice. But uh, yeah, this is nice and simple. It's just like 60 bucks a night, bro. This ain't nothing, maybe even 50. One of my favorite ramen places is in this neighborhood. So I'm gonna go get some ramen, and I'm gonna come back here, and I'm going to bed. <clears throat> All right, it's 610. I actually got up at fucking three. So my plan to just sleep. Well, I went to Ramen Kimura, of course. Yeah, Rob Camaro, amazing. It's actually been my first stop the last three trips, so I must really like it. Chicken Don Don Ramen, you say it like that? Don Don, Dan Dan, I don't know. Uh, I like Don Don, but um, yeah, so fire. Anyway, jet lag, it's a little chilly. I actually kind of froze last night because I think I accidentally turned on the air instead of the heat. I'm trying to help you guys with the traveling aspect here. All right, so I think I explained yesterday, but I don't know how well I explained because I was pretty out of it. Anita Airport, Narita Airport. I go to Narita, which you have to take a train into Tokyo, but I just prefer it. I've never been to Anita, but I don't like doing connecting flights, and if you're gonna connect a flight, you might as well just fucking hop on a train, so. 
from Hanita, I don't know what to tell you. I'm pretty sure you can just hop in the, on the subway and get wherever you're going. Hanita, a couple of options to get to Tokyo. One being a limousine bus. I don't ride that. I think it, it just a bus. They call it a limousine. It's not a limo. It's just a bus. Then there's the Narita Express train. It's like 30 bucks, something like that. 30, 40 bucks, depending on where you're going. Get you there pretty quick. And then there's a cab, which is going to cost you $300. No joke. It's 300 bucks. So if you take the cab, make sure you got like five people with you or something to make it worthwhile. Otherwise, it's not not worth it. But um, and the traffic, it takes forever. Um, it feels like it takes like two hours in the car to get there where the next train is really, really fast. Next train you can do on the machine or there's ticket booths all over it. The, the ticket booth is like red. You can see it. It says next. The main thing when you come to Japan that you want to do is fucking just read the signs. Like take the time to stop, read the signs, and you'll really just be able to figure out where you're going. Everything here is color coded. There's a lot of English. A lot of people think I can't say anything. I can say hello, good afternoon, good evening, uh, thank you, excuse me. That's really about it, you know. So and I get a, I get around plenty. I point a lot. I laugh a lot when I don't know what people are saying, but you can you can get around. So you might annoy people. And they might think you're stupid, but you can get around. Coach, I had economy plus on the way here for free. I flew here for free. Points, so getting a credit card like United and sticking with one airline really helps with me, especially with the business, because I can put a lot of expenses on the card and it just helps. This trip is essentially just costing me what I eat and buy and this room. I've flown economy plus and I've flown first class. First class tickets are crazy expensive, you know. Even this one, they wanted to upgrade me yesterday and they wanted t like $2,200 one way, which is fucking ridiculous. First class upgrades are only worth it. It's free or if you're buying the ticket outright and it's not too crazy. Internationally, especially on these flights like this, this was actually pretty clutch because the flight is empty. So with these empty ass flights and nobody on them, I had two seats next to me. Almost just as good if not better than first class, to be honest. Being able to get up and get out, those lay down seats are great and all but I'm too tall and my feet still crunch against the fucking barrier so it's not amazing the food is a little better but I don't tend to eat on the plane pretty rare that's so odd that people pretend like it's really good food because we're in the airplane it's like y'all motherfuckers would be rioting if this shit was served you in a restaurant as long as there's open seats next to you economy plus is amazing I mean at least one open seat I don't know if there had been three people in those seats though that would have been terrible that would have been fucking terrible so look at the seat map, I guess. But you know, especially for 12 hours, that's a long time to sit next to a stranger. Go with a friend. So if you gotta sit next to somebody, it's somebody you know. I have literally no plan while I'm here. I'm gonna draw a lot, I'm doing a bunch of dragon drawings while I'm here. But I'm just here to get inspiration, work on the next lookbook, you know, just draw and live. I, I really like Japan. Everyone has always asked me why I keep coming back here. Don't know. I feel compelled. I really like it here, and then I get over it, and then I leave, and then I come back. But there's something about uh, the culture here and the opposite of the world that I live in that entices. I don't know if it's because I can't understand shit, <laughs> and I'm just a nice peak of silence for me and like less noise. But I am. I'm drawn here, and I love the food, and I love the craftsmanship that goes into things, and I get really inspired when I'm here. So that's what I'm doing here, and that's what we're gonna do. So let's hit the streets. So we're about to head out. Uh, I got my mask on, which. I do not need at all. Coronavirus, everyone, literally. Like some of you are ridiculous because I'm not in China, I'm in Japan. I know that there's been some cases of corona here, but the hysteria has got to stop. It's not as crazy as people think. It seems like tourism has definitely died down. I think I might even go to Yokohama today just to go down there and see how busy it is. Do not feel scared. I don't feel uh, threatened whatsoever. I don't feel hysteria really here, but all the new shit has got people crazy. I don't, yeah, I just, I have hand sanitizer. I make sure I don't touch my face and my eyes. Put my fingers in my mouth. You know, shit that I learned not to do when I was a child. And uh, I think I'll be fine. For those of you who are concerned, thank you. I do have masks in case some sort of fucking outbreak happens. By the way, if you've never seen the movie Outbreak, that shit's great. But uh, yeah, so we're good. No mask. We're gonna hit these streets now. I've been procrastinating and talking on the phone and tweeting about Ninja being a fucking idiot. All right, so let's go. Chinatown. I, we've been here, what, three times? Every time I just go get dumplings and go home. But this time, I'm gonna try and see, just wander around a little more, see if there's anything else to check out that I haven't, which there is, I just haven't. Like, I'm obviously not gonna eat, uh, you know, super consciously. I'm gonna try not to overeat like crazy, 
And I'm also gonna try and avoid the sweets, but we know that this is not going to happen. But we're gonna try to minimize trinkets and little shops and shit. Tons of food, tons and tons of food. OG Yoza Gods. And Chinatown looks like it's about half as busy as it usually is, but it's also a Thursday afternoon. The dragon lantern that does a whole circle. That thing's sick, bro. It's even got claws. Look at it. Look at them claws. All right, so I can't really speak on like all the dumpling spots on this street. There's a bunch, literally, <laughs> literally hundreds probably. The one that I go to is down, down the street. So I'm sure they're all ridiculous, like those right there. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they're all really good, but this is the one that's always got a line. Look at that motherfucker. Iced out, son. Iced out tiger. All right, that's the spot. That's the sign you're looking for. It's at the very end of the strip, too. So that's it. I can't remember the name. That's what it looks like right there. They're out. Sold out already. The dumplings were super ridiculous as usual, and we got here just in time because look at the line now. So we timed that perfectly. Normally, I just go to the Yokohama Chinatown, but there is also just Yokohama itself, which I don't really ever spend any time in, but I wanted to come and check out the Horiyoshi Tattoo Museum. I have not been to in a good, I don't know, fucking, almost 10 years so this would be interesting to see again but they don't open until two chilling down here got about an hour to kill sure there's stuff around me but i don't know what it is so we're just gonna go over here and chill out take a break and wait for them to all these tattooers bring their stickers through the last time i was here there was just like one one pane of glass let's see if there's anybody that i know cadillac i know don't like y'all it's the homie i know who put that there harrison Daredevil, Perfection, Black Claw. <laughs> Look at this old ass consolidated sticker. That's an old ass sticker, son. That's Godspeed tattoo. I wonder if that's from uh, Colorado. Dude, I've worked at like four or five of these shops. Um, all right, Liberty, Atlanta. There's a lot. We know a lot of these fools, dog. And we got the fucking... So this is open, but it's not two o'clock yet. And I'm pretty sure the door says it's gonna be closed today. Damn, look at this old Tattoo City sticker. Lehigh, it's on, it's old. I don't know, this might be okay. Oh, it's locked. All right. So, I ran into Horiyoshi's son, so they are open today, they open at two. So one thing about Japan when you're walking around, there's nowhere to sit, not a lot of places. Nowhere to throw your trash and nowhere to sit. So I'm just, I'm just cruising. Another thing that I fucking did not do, that I meant to do, which I am a huge proponent of doing, is getting a pocket Wi-Fi. A lot of Airbnbs here will come with the pocket Wi-Fi, so you won't have to get one. You know, a lot of times they skimp and give you like a shitty one. Ooh, look at this little alley. Uh, look at this alley. Might not go anywhere, but sometimes they'll skimp and give you a really shitty one, and you can get your own for like $5 a day. So I ordered one, it'll be to my or to the post office tomorrow. Hey, this goes nowhere. Verizon throttles the hell out of your internet. So I'm already like, no internet out here. Blackout, dead in the water, just walking around. So after this, we're gonna go home and regroup for a little bit. Regular shit. But I'm hyped, I'm hyped to go see the Horiyoshi Museum. It's been so, so long. And I never, I honestly never thought I would come back over here, so. Back to the crib. I stopped and had a little bite to eat at this place called Pallet 46, I think. I never heard of it, I just saw it, it looked good.
it was okay. A couple of cuts of beef and a little cut of pork belly. It's like 30 bucks, so it wasn't amazing. Presentation-wise, beautiful, but it didn't taste amazing. I mean, it's steak, it wasn't bad either, but not my favorite. Our bisu is sick, I like it out here. This is really central to pretty much everything. I haven't even explored this neighborhood yet. I'm gonna chill, watch a little Sopranos, because I'm finally, after 20, 30 years, gonna watch it. Watch 12 episodes on the way here, so now I'm fully, fully invested. I'm gonna put that on, relax, you know, hang out, try not to fall asleep so I can beat this jet lag. I don't have crazy, crazy jet lag, but I gotta make sure I stay up till at least like 9, 10 o'clock. This morning I was up at 3. It's gonna be a battle. Gotta try to do it. Well, my plan yesterday failed. I fell asleep. I didn't have any dinner. I straight up passed out. We walked like nine miles yesterday. I think once I got here, I just, I just crashed. So, well, I know I just crashed, but now, now we're real fucked. Cause it's, I woke up at 1.30. <laughs> Now it's like almost three. So I've been tweeting and shit. I'm about to start editing. I got some drawing stuff to do for Super Plastic. Then we'll go do stuff today. But yeah, I fucked up last night. I skipped a step. I just saved a little money. All right, let me get this edited started.